Srila Prabhupada, our beloved founder Acharya, in the line of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Brahma Madhva Parampara, he went to Vrindavan to make his residence. And he particularly chose to live at the Radha Damodar temple, the place of Sri Jiva Goswami, the place of the Samadhi of Sri Rupa Goswami, the place where all the six Goswamis and their associates would regularly meet to discuss Srimad Bhagavatam, the teachings, the message, and the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it was there that Srila Prabhupada, he chose to prepare himself for his mission to spread Lord Chaitanya's message throughout the world. He spent years translating and writing purports to the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Srila Prabhupada, the efforts he had to make, he typed with his own hands every word. He studied, he meditated, he prayed. In the seclusion of that little room at Sri Radha Damodar Temple, he presented his devotional ecstasies, he called, in the form of his purports to Srimad Bhagavatam. And in order to publish, he had no money. He had to go out and beg. At that time, there was so many governmental restrictions for paper. It was practically impossible for him to even get the paper to print it on. But as Prabhupada said, impossible is a word in a fool's dictionary. His compassion, his love for his guru and Krishna, and his compassion to all beings of this world was so great. There was nobody watching him. There was no news releases or internet news telling about what he had done today. It was just him and Krishna. And he would take trains to Delhi and he would negotiate with government people trying to get permission for paper and he would beg people for printing. He would go to printing presses and, and, and try to get them to publish it on consignment. And after years of such struggle, totally focused on the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, when he actually had it published. He went to Mumbai to try to get his passage. Once he had the Srimad Bhagavatam, he felt now is the time. And Sumati Mararji, who was from the Pushti Marg, she also worshipped Srimad Bhagavatam. She also helped Prabhupada pay for his third volume of Srimad Bhagavatam publication. When Srila Prabhupada was in on the Jaladuta, he boarded in Calcutta and in Cochin, just about the time of his 69th birthday, the Srimad Bhagavatams were sent and put on the ship. And when Srila Prabhupada saw the boxes of Srimad Bhagavatam boarding the ship in Cochin, he understood Krishna's with him in such a special way. And after all of the trials during that 38 days of, of seasickness and, and, and heart attacks, when he finally arrived on the shores of the United States in New York City, he had such confidence in the success of his mission because Krishna was with him in the form of the Srimad Bhagavatams. That was so much the beginning of our movement. It's what Srila Prabhupada focused on most when he was preparing for his journey. The Srimad Bhagavatam, these books traveled with Srila Prabhupada on the Jalatuta. And if you read Srila Prabhupada's diary and some of his letters from those days, he was writing to people of India in Mumbai, um, people who he requested 
to help him by putting his Srimad Bhagavatams in the bookstores of India. He was very concerned and there was much correspondence in that regard. And Srila Prabhupada would go door to door to bookstores and cultural centers, personally trying to get people to put the Srimad Bhagavatam in it. And in many ways, just his selling of Srimad Bhagavatams in New York City was very much his livelihood. Livelihood in the sense it was sustaining his efforts to establish Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement all over the world. And after some time, when Srila Prabhupada's International Society for Krishna Consciousness was established and began to grow. How eager and excited Srila Prabhupada was when the devotees were printing in very first class quality his Srimad Bhagavatam. And so much of his time, practically every day, every night, Srila Prabhupada was spending wherever he was in the world traveling. When, when all others were asleep, he would be awake, translating and writing his purports to Srimad Bhagavatam. In fact, he wrote Krishna book, and he explains in Chaitanya Charitamrita that because he was very old and his health was not good, and he did not know if he would complete the entire Srimad Bhagavatam, he wanted to make sure that the people of the world had Krishna's pastimes. And thus Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, was there. Srila Prabhupada was so focused on this literature. And it is a revelation of how Srila Prabhupada was so perfectly and purely representing all the great Acharyas of our Parampara, of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Srila Prabhupada was so eager that the devotees distribute his books. RG Media YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe.